It is clear that uh, we are living through history-changing times, uh, the creation of a new world order, perhaps, and uh, the change in the region and in the world. It was very interesting and uh, very insightful uh, meeting with the Prime Minister of Moldova. We got a lot of uh, first-hand information about the current uh, refugee crisis, uh, which is uh, the outcome of the uh, Russia-Ukraine war. Total number of refugees who have crossed our borders since 24th of February uh, is uh, more than 390,000. Uh, this is uh, f with a population of 2.7 million people. We are at the border with Ukraine, at the border with a country that is passing through a war right now. And this is more actual and more important to share and to show that Moldova is supporting, Moldova is for peace and Moldova is there to help. What I really like about the speech of the Prime Minister of, of Moldova was the commitment of, of her government to fight against corruption, the commitment of, of her government to improve the life of Moldovans and, and to work for our European future. Combating corruption starts with cleaning up political parties. Maybe even more important was cleaning up institutions that are under parliament control, so uh, institutions like the Competition Council, which has a very important role in ensuring that there are no car cartels or sort of monopolistic agreements between companies. We also got uh, uh, very specific insights connected with the uh, uh, energy supplies and uh, we, we saw that uh, Moldova uh, still is not independent uh, from Russia. I think we are the only country in Europe that, uh, that buys 100% of its gas only from one source. Um, and uh, we also can only access electricity supply from the Transnistrian region uh, or Ukraine. I think it is very important to, to celebrate the national days of the communities that, that, that live at Natalin because it's a way for us to showcase to our colleagues, to our friends, the specificities of our cultures. I'm the only one from Moldova and I had to split myself in all the ways. It was a pleasure for me to do this for my colleagues. It was a pleasure for me to do this maybe for my country, to share my culture, my traditions. Even if you are a small country, we are a country that have a lot to share and a lot to give.